Hi students, I am here to show you how you play Stuff Wars. So um, if you see my little cursor is right here in the middle, um, I want to show you how you're going to play this game because I think it's really fun, but it is a little confusing because you have to change some things on there. So the first thing we want to look at is down here where it says range. Um, range is going to tell us which notes we're going to be um, challenged on. So when you click on that staff, those notes are going to move around. And so I think when you first click on the link, it will take you to the range that looks like this. Now we haven't talked about the notes that go outside these five lines. So what I want you to do is click on that until you bring those notes down, so the lowest one is on the bottom line and the highest one is on the top line. So you can tell that because there will be two little lines at the top and two little lines at the bottom. So that has all the notes in our um, range on the staff. Then you're going to click over here on the treble clef. Don't click these other ones because we haven't learned about those yet. So you're going to click that. All right, you're going to start, and you have all these down here that we know. Now you could, these are in alphabetical order right now, but if you click the arrows, you can change them, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Um, you can just move them around, um, but it may be best if you just have them, well, this order has E, F, G, a, B, C, D, um, that goes kind of up the staff, but it doesn't matter how they look, um, it's just the order that they're in. Um, so we will stick with that for now, and you, I will move my head over, and so you'll hit start. We know that Elephants go bouncing down. That should be D. We're going to find D and we're going to hit D and it's going to explode D. Ooh, there's another D. It hasn't even changed. And the spaces are F, A, C, E. We know that's E. Um, the top line, that's an F. So you're going to continue to do that. If you miss, say, oh, I think that's an A. Oh, um, I think that's another A. I think that's another A. Oh, game over. You only get three tries. So um, you can restart again. As you move up to the levels, I believe that they get faster. They come across the screen a little faster. So you have to um, work hard to get those letters before they come to the end. So we're going to quit here. Um, also, if you go to the range, you can change it to just the lines. Those are only on lines or only on the spaces. So you have three options. I would like you to try the one that is just um, all of the lines and spaces, but if you're having a little difficulty, you can change it just to the lines for line practice or just to the spaces for the space practice. So I think that's all um, I have to answer your questions and teach you how to play this game. Now. To play the game, you do have to have the Adobe Flash Player. That is something that your laptops, your Chromebooks probably already have. But if they don't, you might need your parents' help to get that downloaded. Sometimes, if you click on a link, it'll show like a little puzzle piece in the middle of the screen or up at the top of the screen. If you click that puzzle piece, that'll take that'll open the game up. So if you have any questions or if it's not working for you, you can comment under that assignment. Now this is listed as an assignment, so I just want you to practice. Um, it's not going to be for a grade, it's just for fun. Um, but since we're out, we want to make sure that we don't forget the things that we've learned. And um, I miss you guys, and I hope you're having a nice time at home. But remember, this isn't a snow day. Uh, we do have work from me and from your other teachers. Um, have a good day.